Okay, we're gonna be trying a little teeny small map called Bernanis. You found yourself in the heart of the final rake and you thought they were dead, but you were wrong. It says something like that. But, uh, I seen this. A lot of people are just like, wow, this map's shitty because it's so small. And it's just like, why are people, there's been a lot of haters lately on uh, mod creator maps down in the, like the comments and reviews for them being like another ugly map because of the overwhelming flow of maps that have been coming in this month and it's just like what are these guys problems there's no such thing as an ugly map or a bad map when it's a mod created one everyone's at a different level of experimenting as they make maps that are all amazing except for come city that is the absolute worst garbage trash i've ever seen i mean uh, but uh all maps are great and good Okay, so this is the spawn house on that one, but it looks like I can go outside, escape the house. <coughs> this is cool. I want to see more of this. Wait a minute. This actually feels super good. What? This actually, I feel like I'm actually playing a World at War Zombies right now. Like, I just got Black Ops 6 and I'm playing something new. And the gun sounds good and looks good. What? This is actually sexy. Oh, the way that sounds. And I like how I can hear the shells hit the, the ground. At least that's what I think I'm hearing. There's a little loud sound to that. So there's a door I can open over here. Oh, good old shoddy gun. What is this? Variety of perks. Oh. And the sounds and everything. I think this is like the whole map that we that we can see right here. I love the atmosphere of the sound effects. This is such a good map, actually. Imagine if the Pan Panzer Mortar is actually a boss on this map. That'd be crazy. I want to see... Okay. However they did this map right here with the atmosphere and everything, I want to see more of these. I'm going to have to see if this creator created anything else. I actually feel so immersed. I've actually not felt immersed on a Black Ops Zombies map for a very long time. This is my first time being immersed on a... on a modded map oh and all the sound effects I can just sit here and listen to I love hearing like the in the distance it sounds like there's a war the echoes of the explosions through the air as if like there's something more going on is there an upstairs oh imagine if this was just an open world oh there is a staircase here. Hold on, I could have swore I saw a box light. Hold on, there is a box. Sorry if I've been a little bit quiet, but like, I feel like I should be quiet. I feel like it's disrespectful to be loud here. a way up oh a way down so not a way up it's a way down okay hold on let's try to get down there this map is crazy I actually really love this map what Oh, you know on the final shore, or whatever that one map is, where the mist comes and then there's a boss zombie that might- It doesn't just full sprint at you, but it will run away. That'd be a cool boss to have on this map. 
It is so dark down there. Zombies running. Go, 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 go. Come on, box. Come on, box. Ugh. I don't know what this is. Shoot. Shoot. Is this a shotgun? The Gracie Auto? I can't see. The auto shotgun. I wonder if there's any secret Easter eggs on this map. It is a shame that this map is so small with how great the atmosphere is, but I'm gonna support this map regardless because we give this map a good review, and all the people give it a bad review because it's small are just losers that don't understand that if they give this map a good rating for what it is that there could be that gives more encouragement for them to make another one they give it a good review and say you want one with a bigger version that's a way to say it you can't be mad that this is a small map even said it was before you even download it so oh that's cool Okay, I'm gonna have to start reloading. This is gonna get a little bit hard. Oh, this is gonna start getting really hard real fast. Honestly, I wouldn't mind installing a mod to make them permanently walkers, so it feels like the Walking Dead in this map. Oh, it is so dark though. Goodness. Okay, I'm gonna need a new gun. It's weird seeing the wonder weapons from other Call of Duties in there. This thing's cool. I like that. The shotgun's cool too, but that's such a small clip size for it to be auto. It's not even auto. Oh, maybe it doesn't need to be pumped. Maybe that's what it means by auto. I love the echo you can hear on this gun go through the air. Uh oh. Get out of my way. Oh, we're gonna have to buy some perks. Dead shot, yes. Okay, we got dead shot. That's something. This is such a small map. I'm actually going to be one of the times I get jugged. Although I don't know how great jugs going to be in a map like this, but it's so small that I need it. Okay, come on, give me something good. this the type 11 they have some really unique weapons in this map this thing looks like it was thrown together in a barn spare parts that's a world war 2 weapon for you 
I like these clunky metal sounds too I'm hearing with it. That is so nice. This is the first thing I'm playing this morning. Good. Man. Mm, what other perks are there? There's meal kick. Double tap. There's no pack a punch, so maybe I get double tap and quick sprinting. Quick sprinting. This is a map I really want to figure out how to glitch outside of and roam around. I'd love to run out in an open field like that and just have him come at me in the fog. That's what I would do if I was able to make a map. If I was able to start making maps on here, which I mean, I guess it would it'd take a learning curve and I would be able to do it if I really wanted to, but I would make a map that was just foggy like that and you're just out in a huge open field. I feel like those are cool. Boom, boom, I got a shoddy here and I ain't afraid to use it. Oh man, I'm so bad. I was trying to do some like chunky shots. Ain't no way I'm that bad. There we go. I think that's what it means by auto. I get more than... I wonder if I can get more perks. Hold on. I'm not going to get quick revive because I'm just going to one tr uh, try this map. And then once I die, I die. Man, I really like this gun. Can we add this gun to Fallout? Next Fallout game, can we get guns that look like this? Look at that. That'd be so cool to have in a Fallout game. Imagine a Fallout game with just graphics like this that we're seeing. This is what it looks like at night with ghouls coming at you. That'd be cool too. I wonder if there's any like high quality Fallout maps on the Steam Workshop. I always wanted there to be a Ratchet and Clank one with a bunch of Ratchet and Clank guns. That'd be so cool. They'd all be overpowered. Basically, it'd be like every weapon's a wonder weapon, but except maybe his like spawn pistol or his dual wield vipers from Deadlock, because those really aren't very wonder weapon like. I mean, unless you max them out and they like that rainbow color, they bounce off the walls. That's kind of crazy, but. Okay, we're gonna be able to hit the box again. I do like the guns I have. But uh I I just like to I would like to just, you know, experiment with some of these guns because there's a lot of cool ones. Okay, definitely not that. Let's just take a look at the house. Wait, how much is it to end the game? I forgot that's a thing. 25,000? I think we can beat this map. I think I can. I feel like this shotgun is so good to have, but also I'm wanting to get rid of it. A little double barrel? I kind of want it. I really do. I just wanted to run through the house once. <laughs> I 
Oh, you run so fast. I feel like the running fast perk might have been a mistake. I go a little too fast. They hit me, they hit me. I really thought that would have done a little more damage. I love the way this gun feels. This actually feels like a gun I'd use in like so many different Call of Duty zombies. I mean, in so many different zombie games. Like uh, Days Gone, maybe Last of Us. See, I like the way they did the guns in this map because like usually when I the world at war zombies that I've played in the past then all the guns always felt not very powerful or very underpowered which kind of makes sense because I mean they're not going to be as powerful as like modern weapons but like at least they feel powerful in this I like the idea of making it feel like they had a little too much uh, black powder in their shells and like everything had a little bit bigger of a boom I like that better Flunky metals. I think when you're making a video game, there's nothing wrong with leaning with a little bit of fantasy when you're making your weapons. I'm hearing a lot of zombie sounds, and I keep thinking there's going to be a boss. Is that openable door? No, it's not. Man, this is just a whole lot of reload. Oh, I go, you go so fast with this, it really shows the map size. Okay, I really should get rid of this gun. It's so expensive, it's kind of a waste to keep it in the box, but... Give me something cool, come on. Ah, uh, nah. What's down here? The Thompson? Thompson might be a win, I'm gonna use this. What the heck kind of sights are those? That, that hurt. What? I'm just running around and then all of a sudden I'm like, let's aim down sights. Opposite side of the gun. Oh, that feels so nasty. I feel like one hit around is fine. Mm. It's not worthy of the two guns I got here. And these sights. That just feels so wrong. It makes me feel like my mouse is being held wrong. How am I supposed to function with that? thing has a nice fire rate though. I felt like he was trying to attack me through the wall. One more hit. <clears throat> oh my goodness.
This is such a good map, though. But I really have to stay out here. Sights on this gun. I can't get over him. I don't know who invented this and thought those sights were okay, but they were not. They were probably left handed. Something. I want to try something else. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this could be fun. Oh, I thought it was a little mushroom, but it was just a bone sticking out of someone's leg. Okay. Ladder doesn't want to work. Gonna be a Call of Duty Zombies game with dynamic clouds. Oh. Honestly, they should do a zombies map that has a daylight cycle. And maybe something changes with the day. Maybe zombies are like weaker or something, or maybe or no, maybe they're slower in the day. Maybe it slows them down where they're more aggressive during the night. And it's like every hour the daylight cycle switches. You know? Because if you're going to play Call of Duty Zombies, you're going to play for at least two hours, so you get an hour of each. Oh! And then maybe like lucky hour, so every day at like 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, it's permanent fire cell. That'd be funny. But they'd have to like program the map to everybody to know the time. Or something like that. Hitting the box. We're almost to the winning amount of money here. The three line rifle. I like the car. It was type 99, I guess that's what this thing's called. This was a mistake. Oh my goodness. Type 99 for the win. This gun feels so beefy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. I can't really see. Oh, I was going to grab that. One final box hit. Whatever I get, I'm going to take. Here we go. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. I don't even know. I can even keep them open. I'm going to panic. The bar. B A R. I always love this thing. It always felt solid and looked good. Oh my goodness, all I turned around and saw was a big old potato head. I don't get enough points this time around. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. It still basically is insta-kill. I like how these guns don't really feel like they fall off in damage, which is super nice. I always like that when they do that with World War Zombies. I don't really think they need to increase the health for killing zombies if you headshot them. I feel like most guns should just insta-kill headshot. <clears throat> mm, we almost have enough points. I didn't get hit the box though. I forgot. I kind of feel like running into it. Oh no! I just was gonna beat the map. Well, I guess I didn't beat it. <laughs> that's embarrassing, I guess. Well, that's a really good map. Honestly, I want to see if the creator has anything else on Steam. Let me look it up right now. Hold on. Let's see here. A library. Black Ops 3. Workshop. Items. Uh, my favorite. Oh, no, no, no. My subscribed items. My subscribed items. I want to find my subscribed items. Can you can you go back to the thing I seen? I want to see my subscribed items. Um, burn house, bananas, created by you. Okay. You've been playing a lot of World at War, or World War Two multiplayer and stuff lately. Okay, buddy. Okay, how do I see what your other items are? You made your workshop items. You got eight. You did make some other maps. Hold on. Uh, window capture. Oops. Steam. Look at this. He did make some other maps. I played the one that's four star. There's some other ones I see here. Now, I know this the one he just made. This one right here. You don't even see my mouse, actually, do you? Okay, it doesn't matter. Ber Bernanis right here. Obviously, it's probably going to have the best graphics out of all of these. But I'm thinking I might try one of these other ones because I like that map. So, we will see. We will see, Boxcar Racer. I like this map, so I'm going to see what your other stuff is. I don't really care if the rating's low or not because I don't trust stars anyways. So, yeah. But I can't just download these right now because I'm doing something. So, I'll come back to those. Anyways, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm done for today.